Hi everyone, it's Matt from The Pen Habit, and uh, in this video I'm going to talk to you a little bit about this new pen. This is a, uh, a very special pen, just checking to make sure it works. This is a, an exclusive to the Goulet Pen Company. It is called the Monteverde Invincia Deluxe Nighthawk. So this is a carbon fiber pen. Uh, it is, it's a metal base covered with carbon fiber. But what makes this pen special is that almost the entire pen is done in a matte finish, which is very uncommon for Monteverde. They have generally uh, only done uh, glossy finishes on their carbon fiber in the past. So uh, lots of nice things. Uh, it's got a standard kind of ball clip here, and, and it's actually a little on the tight side for my preference. Makes it hard to, to put in a jeans pocket, for instance, but it, uh, it works well. Nice matte metal cap and uh, an end piece here. You've got the uh, kind of ridges and then the, the metal band in the center is also uh, black matte. It has Monteverde stamped on, or not stamped, but uh, it looks like silk screen printed on there. Um, very, very nice. It, uh, it looks, looks very comfortable. This is a cartridge converter pen, so you can use either cartridges or converter. It does accept the long version of the international standard cartridge as well as the international standard standard converters and I've I've got one installed. Now one of the nice things about the the converters in these Monteverde pens is that the one that it comes with is actually threaded. So it is an international standard cartridge and it will work as one, but it's also threaded. So if you have a Monteverde pen, you can use the threaded version and it will just make sure that it stays in place. You don't have to use a threaded version, but you can if you want to. Uh, the section is also kind of a matte black finish. And one of the things that I really like about it is the nib is black as well. Now, as in the email or the video that Brian does on these pens, they weren't able to get a matte black nib, but, uh, but the, uh, the effect is not, it's not bad. So, um, Really like the pen. It's quite weighty considering, um, you know, I thought, oh, it's a carbon fiber pen. It's going to be really light. Uh, not realizing that it's wrapped in metal. It's actually quite a hefty pen in terms of weight, which I tend to like. You can post the cap. So here's the, here's the pen and you'll see it. It's actually a decent size as well. So uh, you can post the cap if you want to and it clicks into place nice and heavy. This is too heavy for me um, and, and kind of back balanced in a way that's not very comfortable for me. I, on this pen, I have no desire to, uh, to post the pen and no need to. And, you know, I don't have the biggest hands in the world, but I also don't have the smallest. And this works perfectly for me. Comes in, I believe, if I remember correctly, extra fine, fine, medium, broad, and a 1.1 millimeter stub, which is what I got. This is my very first stub nib. Um... And uh, I've been using it for a couple days, and I wanted to introduce you to the pen and, uh, and let you know what I thought about it. So some of the things I like, as I mentioned, I love the weight of this pen. It feels, it fits in the hand nicely. It's very, very comfortable to use. The section is formed just perfectly. I just, I like this pen a lot. So that's one thing. Um, I love the look of it. This, this matte black, this you know, kind of stealth Nighthawk look is, is spectacular. It really is spectacular. It's one of my favorite looking pens. It's very clean and modern, but also has, you know, has a very classic feel as well. Um, classic shape, but very clean and modern look. The, the matte finish on this carbon fiber in particular, I find to be just, it's not, it's not textured per se, but it's very grippy. Um, you know, I have I have some other pens that are uh, much smoother finishes, and while I don't necessarily find my my hands slipping off, I love the way that this finish just feels on the hand. It's very easy to grip the pen. I don't feel like I'm going to accidentally drop it or anything like that. The only thing I would I would say that I'm not a huge fan of is. There is a fairly significant drop down from this ring right by where the cap comes on to the threads. Um, if you hold your pen far back like this, uh, you might that might get in your way a little bit. But if you hold it down on the section where it's kind of intended to be held, then it works just just fine. Um, 
yeah, so far I have really enjoyed this pen. So let's take a moment and I'm gonna go ahead and show you a writing sample. All right, so what I'd like to do is uh, go ahead and do a writing sample on the Nighthawk here. So um, again, here's just another little close up of it. Lovely cross hatching, very subtle, but very pretty on the carbon fiber. And uh, I've already inked this up. So yeah, as you can see from my finger, so I'm just going to go ahead and dive in. This is the Monteverde Invincia Deluxe Nighthawk. Currently available only from the Goulet Pen Company. So this has a steel 1.1 millimeter stub nib and uh, this is my very first stub as I mentioned and uh, so I actually like what it does quite a bit I am using Hiroshizuku Sio Ro ink and uh, and of course I am on Rhodia 80 gram paper. All right. So um, let's just do a really quick little writing sample here. So this writes very smoothly. Uh, interesting thing I noticed compared to some of my other pens, and this may be a stub thing, I'm not sure. This nib actually tends to sing a little bit when it uh, when you write with it. I don't know if you can actually hear that or not, but it has a little bit of a pitch sound to it, um, which I actually kind of like, especially since I have, you know, I'm, I have a musical background. So uh, it, it writes fairly wet. Actually, it writes quite wet but not too too much so um, obviously with a stip with a stub nib you're not going to get a ton of flex at least not with a, a modern steel stub nib but the stub itself will give you the line variation so you get the especially depending on how you hold the pen so sometimes I, I struggle between writing you know holding it flat like this or trying to hold it at an angle. And I generally like to try to hold it at an angle, but I can't always pull that off. Um, I, When I first got this pen, I will say that I ran into some issues with the ink just stopping. I was I had Diamine Red Dragon in the pen at the time. Um, and I have a bad habit with pens of, as soon as I get them, the first thing I do is ink them up and start playing with them. And generally speaking, that's not a great idea. You wanna clean the, the pen out and uh, make sure that it's, you know, you've gotten any resi residual chemicals or residue from the, the manufacturing process out of the way. I didn't do that. So I, I did clean it out really thoroughly before recording this video, and it seems to have made a big difference. I, I haven't gotten any stops. Of course, this is also a, a much more high-end ink than the Red Dragon that I get from Diamine. Let's do just a little bit of quick writing. So it seems to do well on the quick writing, and as you see, I've been been squiggling and drawing all throughout. Haven't had any problems. Um, I know some people also want to see an upside down if you write with the top of the pen. Um, obviously, this is a stub nib, so it's going to behave a little bit differently. But frankly, I can't tell much of a difference between writing on this pen, writing upside down, and writing right side up. It's just a little bit smoother on this side. But other than that, that's about all I've been able to tell. Um, so yeah, and then just one last regular thing to do is uh, just do a little patch of ink, 
Let's see how wet we get. Well, obviously, so there's a lot of wetness there. And the thing I really like about this is if you have an ink that does some nice shading, as this one does, um, you really get, or, you know, if you've got a pen with a stub nib like this that has this wetness, you get some really, really nice shading in the, the lettering. And you can even probably see it on the video here. So overall, I really, really like this pen. I like that the weight that comes from having the metal uh, core and the carbon fiber wrapped around it. I love the grip. I love the, um, the way it writes. I really, really like this pen. I suspect this will probably become one of my uh, one of my everyday regular carries. So, thank you for joining me on another episode of The Pen Habit. And we will be back soon with another pen to talk about. Thanks a lot. Bye.